Hey, what's going on there, everyone? It is Earthmaster here. December 5th already, 2017, 9.45 p.m. Here on the West Coast, all is pretty quiet for the most part, but I did want to point out a little quick detail in this earthquake video update, update video. Uh, large increase in activity along the Cascadia subduction zone. Now, for those of you that have been watching this channel for quite some time, you realize I do pay attention to the slow slip trimmer uh, events that occur underneath that subducting zone, the Cascadia subducting zone. Uh, these trimmers are being picked up by very sensitive equipment and uh, it's basically not an earthquake but more or less like one plate diving down slowly underneath the other one and producing this harmonic uh, tremor type uh, noise that sensitive equipment tends to pick up and, and that's what's going on with these little red dots that you see on the screen now this here is let's go with the last three hours okay last three hours there's a lot of activity occurring in central oregon now central oregon is a spot where we haven't seen much activity if any at all over the past few months um and we could probably go back even further than that and uh let's go here with this well this is the last 48 hours right here so what's all that mean basically it means that uh well there's movement going on in an area that we thought was pretty much locked. It's probably still locked in the area of the um, of that plate, San Juan de Fuca plate, and the Pacific plate off to the west. But we are getting a lot of detection underneath Central Oregon in a confined area that shows that movement is being detected. Slow slip movement. Now that's good in a way, but uh, you know. That doesn't mean that pressure is being relieved. Uh, it just means that the plate is, well, diving further and deeper uh, underneath the North American plate right here. That in turn could create more pressure on the already locked Cascadia subduction zone over here. Now, if you notice, we picked up a lot of activity in Northern California as well, right there south of Redding into the Sacramento northern Sacramento Valley there south of Redding probably around Anderson Corning area uh, a confined stretch a confined area right there uh, a little bit further south than we've seen before so all this activity just imagine this plate here uh, being able to well slide down more underneath the North American plate in return creating more pressure down here to the south and also up here to the north. You can see it up there through Vancouver Island and Victoria, um, north of Seattle, near Olympia, even a little buzzer thing off here on the ocean. It's lightened up is what I'm worried about. Uh, if you take a look at the recent earthquakes here in California, we've seen a little bit of activity in the Eureka region and up here along the nor northern, excuse me, northern section of the um, San Andreas Fault System that ends up here, but it's all connected once it reaches up here off the coast into the Cascadia subduction zone region. Um, all that's definitely interconnected, but all that pressure being applied into the south here uh, it might be something to worry about. When we see some large scale movement such as what's going on right now with this uh, slow slip event movement plate wide for the most part subduction wide I should say uh, that's something to pay attention to so definitely going to be on earthquake alert uh, for at least the next 24 hours guys because we're looking at this real time and you can see within the last three hours uh, still quite a bit of activity uh, found 1.9 hours of tremor time confined mostly to that quiet region that we haven't seen much activity before in the past so definitely pick it up uh, just be on alert be on guard out there uh, like I say right now everything looks pretty quiet 
out there across the globe. Um, I do have the Mendocino Station right here, which is in Northwest California. Well, near the uh, coast there, over near Eureka, which will definitely experience some strong shaking if that Cascadia subduction zone should slip. Um, looks pretty quiet right now. Maybe a small little bump or two, but nothing major. The other thing that interests me is all this pressure being applied underneath the North American plate now ultimately affects areas to the east. Correct? What's, what's over there towards the east? Yellowstone National Park. I noticed this last night. Um, some increased activity. Um, let's go to Madison right here. Ignore these little bumps. These uh, more solid ones. They're not really earthquakes. But these uh, confirmed ones up here um, have been increasing along with the slow slip tremor event movements. Nothing big, but definitely seems to be picking up along coinciding with this activity underneath the plate over here. Underneath this North American plate, the subduction, subducting zone here, Cascadia. That old girl that's been holding up a lot of steam and a lot of pressure for about three, over 300 years now. Um, so that's why I wanted to make this video, guys. Make you aware of it. I know a lot of you folks do uh, pay attention to this. Because ultimately, when, when you have this sort, this sort of long... You know, it's, it stretches from Northern California all the way up to Vancouver Island there. The Cascadia Subduction Zone does. And we're seeing activity all up and down it. Slow slip tremor movements. Something is going on. So that's why I say... Uh, you know, we definitely be on, need to be on Earthquake Watch right now and um, just be prepared over the next 24 hours, probably 48 hours, and uh, we'll see what becomes of it. The rest of the globe, some deep earthquake activity once again over near the Fiji Islands region uh, with a 4.7, also a 5.1 moderate earthquake to the northwest of there. Some activity once again on the western Pacific over there along the... Uh, Pacific Ring of Fire. Nothing major, but definitely some activity. Other than that, not a whole lot of activity out there, folks. Oklahoma did have that 4.2 in central Oklahoma over there. Uh, north central, I guess. Quite a few people felt it, no doubt. You can see that 4.0 up here. Pretty recent earthquake. Well, I guess on the northern, way northern section part of the... Uh, Cascadia subduction zone up there. I'll take a look at that real quick and see what kind of information. 10 kilometers there. 4.0. Nothing big. But nonetheless, it's activity, guys, on that fault system right there. You got the whole... Well, I guess it is kind of off of there. But nonetheless, still connected there somewhat uh, with that Cascadia subduction zone, which extends right here. That's the uh, historical seismicity. Seismicity. It's late. Um, you know, you can see see where a lot of the activity is over the uh, course of I don't know how many years, but uh, that 4.0 occurring well north here. Um, it's just something to watch, folks. This whole area up and down the this region here, with this low level activity being picked up kind of makes me nervous because I'm kind of included in that as well here in Northern California so we shall see what uh, becomes of that all right guys hopefully you all got a chance to see that super moon the other night it's pretty cool but uh, guess what there's another one coming up in January so if you didn't get a chance to see that super moon uh, you'll get a chance again to see it uh, here real soon next month uh, and hopefully skies will be clear for you if you did miss it pretty quiet maybe I should be uh, knocking on some wood
just in case. Alright guys, have a good night out there. I'll talk at you soon.